I just want to get some news where there is a light at the end of this tunnel here where I, I can get what is entitled to my family for going through this hardship. Chantel Cruz and her family have been staying in a hotel for five months now. After receiving a non-renewal lease notice from her landlord and told to vacate the premises by June 30th. And now she wants justice. I mean, they broke the law. Why, why aren't there any consequences? I'm going through this hardship with my family. Cruz received the notice of non-renewal and notice to vacate back in May. She brought it to the Office of the Attorney General's attention. They had told me that because my um, eviction date is coming up, um, that even if I was to file the complaint that day, they're not going to be able to get to it by the date I'm supposed to be evicted. She filed the complaint, and according to Cruz, a letter was sent to her landlord by the OAG Consumer Protection Division's AAG, Benjamin Paholke, informing them of the potential liability faced for an eviction during the moratorium. According to OAG spokesperson Carlina Charferez, the OAG cannot represent landlords or tenants in these situations, but emphasizes what they can do is provide resources informing of landlord-tenant law and mediation if an individual is on the brink of eviction. Charferis adds the moratorium does not put a bar on evictions. It places a bar on eviction and foreclosure proceedings during the time period. Further, Charferis says landlords and tenants should consult private counsel to determine if a non-renewal is an eviction in their specific situation. However, Cruz says she also reached out to countless private counsels, law enforcement agencies, and called Adeloupe, but never received any information or responses. A law was broken. I'm... I'm I'm the victim. I want someone to help me. Cruz has been using her unemployment pay to afford the hotel long-term stay. However, with unemployment assistance sunsetting by the end of the month, she fears her family will be homeless. I'm pretty sure there's a lot of people out there that has been evicted, but because they probably did go to the to these people that they got the answers I did, that they just got discouraged and gave up. But I can't give up because my family... Throughout the pandemic, Lieutenant Governor Josh Tenorio has been leading efforts on assisting homeless families in need. He heard Cruz's story on the link and is helping create a path forward to find a suitable living condition. We should add, according to the OAG, since March, roughly 27 landlords and 20 tenants have inquired on the landlord-tenant law for information regarding the moratorium. Reporting for Guam's News Network, I'm Adriana Cotero.